So today, I'm doing a video to show you guys the steps and the procedures of the things that I do when I do artificial insemination with the breedings that I do with my German Shepherds. A lot of you guys who know me know that I breed German Shepherds. It's more of like a hobby and something that I really like doing. Um, so again, I'm going to go over the steps and the procedures of what I do and show you guys the tools that I use. So this right here is the cup which is you use to put over the male to usually catch the semen. And usually how it comes is, is it comes with this and this is what's usually at the bottom. Obviously, I want to collect more semen than what I normally would want to collect. So I threw this together myself. This is kind of like something that I did. It's a small water bottle. Um, it allows me to collect more semen than what I usually collect. And after you collect the semen, you have this tube here, which is what I will be sticking inside of the female to put the semen inside of there. And once the semen is collected, it'll go in here and it shows the milliliters 5, 10, 15, and 20. So depending on the amount. So I'll collect from this here. I'll take this off, pour it into a cup, and then I'll collect from there. This goes inside the female. It goes in like this, and it's injected just like that. So also, the things here that I also do is there's a different types of steps and things that you do when you're doing artificial insemination. So there's several reasons on why you would do artificial insemination. One reason could be because the dog that you have, which is the female, maybe she's not a female that breeds naturally. So she won't allow the male to get on her and tie with her and breathe naturally. So in that case, you do artificial insemination. Another way on why you would do the artificial insemination is that maybe the male that you have, um, he doesn't appear to be <clears throat> interested in the female at the time of ovulation. So maybe you ran an ovulation test on the female and you know that your female is on ovulation, but your male isn't interested in her. So you want to make sure your female gets bred on ovulation when she has eggs there. So in that case, if you're somewhat uh, a professional breeder, then you do an artificial insemination. Um, maybe another case is, is that maybe your male is older and he can't breed naturally and you still want to use him for your stud. So you would also do artificial insemination. And there's another way on why you would do the artificial insemination, which is the specific reason why I'm doing it. So my male that I have here right now, I have two females that's in heat and I would like to breed him to both females. They're both about ready to breed around the same time. So instead of letting him breed with one female today and then letting him breed with the other the other day, uh, that would probably cause too much of a confusion in the breeding because the first one that he would breed should probably get the, uh, the better end of the stick of the breeding and then the second one she wouldn't get so much. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to collect the semen from my male and I'm going to put it in here and then I'm going to split it up. Also, what I have here is what I'm going to use is this right here is called semen extension media. This is what you use on several cases on why you would add this into the semen. And what this does is extends the life of the semen. Most of the time when you put the semen inside of the female, it's probably good for 24 hours. This extends the life of the semen for three to five days. So if you put the semen in the female today and she's not on ovulation and she ovulates tomorrow, this keeps the semen alive long enough to where it can actually be there when the eggs are dropped and it can actually be there to fertilize them. It keeps the semen alive. Um, in this case, the reason why I'm doing it is I have my male, I'm gonna collect from him. I'm gonna add this in here to expand it more so it actually can live longer and has a better chances on getting the female pregnant. And then I'll split it up between those two and they'll both get an equal share of the amount. And I don't have to worry about one female coming up with more puppies than the other one. They both get an equal share of amount to do the breeding. So, you know, with that being said, I have my male. He's right here in the crate. So I'm gonna pull him out, um, get him right here and put him on. And I will show you guys the step in the procedure of what I do to collect. <clears throat> so obviously, you don't want to be doing this <laughs> without no gloves. I mean, that would be very disgusting. And obviously, if you're not someone who's been in school for this, 
or has been in the field of this and has the complete understanding on what to do, I would not suggest that you do this. You can actually hurt your dog and cause serious issues. And then you'd be looking at probably taking your dog to an animal hospital or to a vet, looking at probably spend thousands of dollars on the surgery. And if you have a really nice dog like how I have, or I import these dogs from different countries and they cost thousands of dollars to get here, then you wouldn't want to do that. You would definitely probably want to get someone like me to do this for you. So here is my dog. His name is Florentino. He's pretty good, easy going. He doesn't really give me a problem with doing this. He gets a little hyped up a little bit. So I'm going to open this up. This is a real busy body. Hey. And from here, this is used. The penis comes out. Not really sure if you guys can see on the video. And from here, I hold this and I pretty much wait. It's not something that takes long to do. And you sit and you let this fill up as much as you feel like you want to get to use. So this is probably something that you'll do for a few minutes. Um, again, if you're not someone who's a professional doing this, you might look at this and think this is disgusting. But again, I'm someone who's been doing this a long time, so I know what I'm doing. I know exactly what to do to get it done. And pretty much this is the procedure of doing it. Um, from here, after I collect, and I feel like I get the amount that I need, obviously I'll take the dog, put the dog back up, um, and I'll take this here, and I'll go ahead and take this out, pour it into a cup, and then I'll mix it in with the semen extension media of the other items that I have. And then from there, we'll move to the next step, which will be bringing a female in and putting the semen inside her.